iPad OS 15 is out. Here are some settings you should turn on immediately. Right. Let's start with a couple of brand new settings. Open the settings app. Okay, a little gear icon in the dock for me. Let's tap on mail. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down to mail. Tap on that. And then tap on privacy protection. Okay. Make sure this switch is on. It is on by default, but you wanna make sure it's on. Right, and so what it does is there are companies that, pretty much every company that's a big company, tracks whether you open emails and whether you click on certain links and then they send you more personalized emails and you have no idea this is going on. What this does is a convoluted technical process and then they can't track you anymore. So it's kind of a personal privacy thing. Next, let's tap on privacy. Okay, privacy on the left. And then tap on record app activity. Turn this switch on. Now this is still, you know, in the works. Right. But you want the switch on because it'll send you an activity report of which apps are doing what. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be revealing, I think. Yeah, it's gonna show which websites and other apps, the apps that you use are contacting in the background as you use them and therefore show you how they're tracking you. As David said, report's not out yet, but it's a good idea. This doesn't go to Apple. This stays right on your iPad. Yep, there is a preview on Apple's website. We'll link that below. If you like these two new settings, give this video a thumbs up and let's yeah, keep moving. Like these two guys, these two settings. Let's While we're in privacy, let's tap back. Then tap on location services. All the way at the top. And then scroll all the way down. Tap on system services. All right. And let's talk about that status bar icon. I like this one just because, let me tap on it right now. It gives you a little status bar icon right there in the upper right hand corner of the screen, which is a good indicator of when your iPad is using your location and therefore if it's on all the time, it could be a good indicator of battery problems because location services equals battery drain, period. End of story. Yeah. But not end of video. Next, let's talk about a new music setting. Tap on music on the left. All right, I'm gonna just scroll down, if you don't mind, to then tap on music on the left. I love this setting, I'm excited about it. Well, let's tap on audio quality. Boom. Turn Lost. on that switch. It's great, finally. CDs were invented in 1979. Now this switch is getting us back to CD quality. Yeah. yeah! Okay, when did CDs come out? We've been listening to compressed garbage for the last 25 years and gotten used to it, 20 years really. When the iPad came out, or iPod, iPod came out, I had a third gen iPod because we needed to fit a lot of songs onto these tiny little devices and we sacrificed a lot of quality. Mm -hmm. The difference now is amazing. So once you turn this on, you get a couple of different options. Wi-Fi streaming, I recommend making it high, high res lossless as long as you have some cool thing that can actually play high res lossless audio. I'm just gonna say yes. It also will work even if you don't have a cool thing like a digital audio converter or anything that we're not gonna talk about in this video, but I do, so I like it on. Then tap back to audio quality downloads. I choose lossless because it's a good in-between, between high quality and, and which is like the old crappy compressed audio. I think that they could have called it old crappy compressed quality. They call it high, they qual call high, it high quality. High quality is actually the lowest quality. It's interesting. Right. It is. Sneaky. Sneaky. Yep. So, so yeah, go ahead. Turn this on. on. Next, we're going to Safari. Okay. Safari on the left side, right under FaceTime, tap on that. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to tap on is close tabs. Right now you have it set to manually. I'm just gonna scroll up a little bit. If you okay, don't mind. that's fine. Manually, tap on that. A lot of people, myself included, are tab hoarders. We leave open dozens, sometimes hundreds of tabs that we don't need. A lot of the time it's the same website over and over and over and over again. Right. If you want those tabs to close automatically. I'm just gonna go to Safari real quick, just in case people don't know. If they have tabs open, you can just go to Safari. It's the four boxes in the upper right hand corner of the screen. It says I have one tab, but you may see that you have lots and lots of tabs. Sorry, more tabs than more a, tabs. More tabs than a Hendrick concert in the in the sixties. All right. So if we go back to settings. I'm just going to swipe up from the bottom of the screen, hold my finger in the middle, and let go. And then I can tap on settings. So I like to set this to after one month. I mean, these are the tabs that I'm never going to see again. They're the old tabs. Old tabs. They're, they're, they're the uh, the you're mail not, that's buried under the. You're not gonna mail. you're not gonna miss them. You know right. you don't need them. Let them go. Right. Let it go. So let's go back to Safari. One more setting we want to talk about here. I'm gonna tap back to Safari. Prevent cross-site tracking. Turn that switch right on. Yes. Do you want websites to be able to track you as you go to other websites so that they can deliver you relevant advertising? Cuts down on the information collected about you. Yeah, I just do blah, 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 blah. Don't do it. 
Sorry for saying ba 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 ba. People used to say that I interrupted David all the time. I only do it most of the time. Turn that switch on, then go to App Store. And while you do, hit that subscribe button right below this video. We'd really appreciate it. We that. really do. It means a lot. You could be one of the first million subscribers. You could. It's exclusive, exclusive. Exclusive. It's going to be an exclusive club one day. Yeah, it will. After we learn how to say exclusive. 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 Turn on the switch next to offload unused apps. Boom. This will help you free up some storage space on your iPad of those apps that you don't use, especially if you have automatic downloads for apps turned on here. When your iPhone downloads an app, it gets downloaded on your iPad. Too. Nightmare. Nightmare fills up and yeah, you never open those apps. This is a turn on video, but, but turn off apps and turn on app updates so that you don't have to go to the app store. Your apps don't get outdated. Outdated apps are buggy apps, mm -hmm. but then turning this one off will save your mind. Everybody yeah. who gets an iPad learns that lesson the hard way. Yeah. Save yourself. L E A R. Offloading unused apps doesn't delete any documents or data, so you can always just go back, open it up, up again, and all your yep. data's there. Yeah, and it automatically downloads. Very easy. It's a good alternative to deleting the app completely. All right, next, let's go to accessibility settings and tap on display and text size. All right, accessibility under home screen and dock. And then I'm going to tap on display and text size on the right. Yep. So let's talk about reduce white point. All right. I'm going to turn on reduce white point and we're going to see that the white point Oof. gets darker. This can make it's your iPad's dark. display darker than right. this letter. So, I mean, why would you turn this on? It's going to say battery life, but who cares? If you can't see your iPad, then that's a problem. For me, I like to use my iPad sometimes in bed to, to read. And the screen is actually very bright on the lowest brightness. So mm -hmm. what this does, I usually back it down to 50%. It's dark right here, but you can still use the brightness slider and get it really bright. So it kind of recalibrates the brightness slider in a way where the brightest is not quite as bright, but it, it gives you the ability to, let's say you're using your phone in a movie theater, your iPad, don't do that. But if you did, this would be helpful. Let's tap back to accessibility and then tap on motion. All right, motion. Reduce motion will cut down on some of the animations on your iPad screen. It'll save some battery life, and I think you will get used to these animations pretty quickly. Oh, of course. Well, now if I go back to the home screen. <laughs> well, that was sneaky. okay. But did you notice how it didn't do a fancy thing and just yeah. kind of faded to the home screen? So a lot of people prefer this, actually. And it saves some battery life. Save some. This is a little one. This is going to save you a little bit of battery <laughs> life. Just a little bit. Let's go to the camera section of the settings app. Okay. Scroll down on the left-hand side until you run into camera, tap on that. Yep, and then tap on preserve settings. Okay, tap on preserve settings. Preserve camera mode and live photo. Okay, live photos are these little videos. My friend Dan has a beautiful baby. He takes these live photos all the time, which end up being these giant little video files. I don't think he knows he has live photo turned on, but turn it on. That means that every time you open the camera app, if this is on and you've turned off live photo previously, it'll stay off. Yep. Otherwise it turns back on by default. I wonder, is Apple trying to get you to use more data? Maybe you'd have to buy more iCloud storage space. I don't know. Camera mode is more of a convenience thing. If you take a lot of videos or something, or you like portrait mode or whatever you have on this thing, square, yep. it won't just reset to photo every time. I like this setting. Yep. This is an important little section here. Good Save some headaches. Stuff. Let's tap on passwords next. Okay. Touch ID to view saved passwords. We're not going to show you all of his passwords. What we are going to do is make sure this switch next to autofill passwords is on. It's a real pain when you don't know your passwords and you know you have to grab your Mac and enter your Mac password. Call your son. Call your son and What's say, What's my password? <laughs> What's my password for this? Yeah. Just turn this on and autofill your passwords, especially if you use Chrome a lot. You can fill in from Chrome. It's really great. Yep. So make sure that's on. Save Get some the heck time. Out of here. Let's go to pencil gestures in the pencil section of the settings app. Okay. Wow, curveball. Curveball. Where did I put the pencil? It's right on the floor. Here it is. I'm going to use the pencil to go to pencil gestures. Okay. Apple pencil. Tap. And then pencil gestures. So you have left corner swipe and right corner swipe. I think the quick note's pretty convenient. We take a lot of screenshots too. Like I take a lot of iPad screenshots and that left corner swipe for the screenshot is convenient too. Right. We sure do. Great fanning. Great fanning. Please join our channel. Please join this channel for awesome giveaways like these folks. Jim B, Rod R. Jim B is awesome. Roach, Liz WT, Jorge G, and Ray D. Join these folks. You can get early access to things like our iOS 15 battery settings video. Absolutely. Big hit or 
free air tags in our discord we're not allowed to do giveaways through youtube memberships so we found a way around that That's sneaky please join our discord channel then you'll be entered into giveaways because we can do it from discord yep we've given away a lot of cool stuff yep. headphones air tags come on subscribe like this video if you enjoyed thanks for watching those quick gestures turn them on turn them on good take stuff. a screenshot boom, boom. screenshot how cool is that amazing thanks for watching